Daniel here for Tabletop for One. Please join me at the table as I teach and play through Minerva. And I thank you for joining me for this tutorial and solo playthrough of Minerva. Minerva is designed by Hisashi Hayashi. I hope I pronounced that correctly. And published by Pandasaurus Games. Now this is a game from 2017. And I picked it up used and I think I paid like maybe 10 bucks for it. But yeah, this is a tile lane game akin to Cascadia and Luna Capital where you're drafting tiles, building them out on a tableau, activating them for bonuses and that sort of thing. Now for the solo mode, it is a beat your own score solo mode for ranks, but you do need at least 40 points to win. And so let's go into setup. And so for the first part of setup, grab the six starting tiles here, and you're going to place them out in pairs. So just like this, I'll place one pair there, another pair there, and then the last pair here. And then we're going to take our stack of facility tiles. It's these tiles here that uh, show the Minerva on the back. Now you do have to remove all the ones that say three and four. You'll see in this corner here, it says three plus, as well as some of these scoring tiles here that say three plus, you'll remove those from the game, as well as the four plus ones. We only need the regular ones for the two player game. We're gonna end up shuffling these up, but what you're gonna do is you're gonna place them out into uh, stacks of five, and then you're gonna take one of these round tiles, there's six of them here. You're gonna put one on each stack here, and then you're gonna shuffle each of these stacks and then stack them on top of each other. All right, so now that we have our whole stack here, we're gonna place it off to the side, and then we're gonna start drawing tiles. Now we're drawing one at a time, but making pairs again. And the moment we draw a round tile, one of two things will happen. If, the, if it's the first tile of a pair, then we'll stop drawing from there. If it's the second tile of a pair, we'll add a $3 coin, a denarii coin, to that tile and pair it up with whatever tile it's paired with. So let's see how we draw here. So we got our first one paired up here, not bad. Move it on, and there's our round tile. So now that it's the second one in this pair here, we're gonna add a three denarii coin to it, just like so. And then off to the side here, we're gonna have stacks of the glory tiles. And now you're gonna stack these up, first by round number, so we have uh, round one here, all the way down to round six at the bottom, and then by number. So one on top of two, on top of three, if there is a three, but the first two rounds, there's only two. But once you get to round three, we have one, two, and three, like so. So you stack these all in the stack. Now, the game actually sh shows you to like lay them all out on the board. That's not really necessary for this mode here. You just keep them in a stack like this. And then you have the stacks of the culture tiles. We have the theater, the art, and the academics. And each of these tiles, you're gonna have stacked lowest on top of the highest. So two, three, four, five, and seven victory points on each of these. And it goes for each of these areas here. We have the theater, arts, and academics. And then off to the side, we will have some of our assistants here, as well as a variety of resources. We have the different resources and the glory tokens here. We'll just put those in a big pile. And then we have coins off to the side as well. You really don't need uh, more than a few of the $3 coins and uh, some of the $1 coins. You end up spending a lot of the coins, so you don't need a lot out. And you only need five assistants because that's the max you can ever get in a game. And then next you'll shuffle the temple tiles with the yellow background here. And we'll place them up here, the stack here in the market. We're gonna bring out five tiles. And there's always five tiles, so anytime one gets purchased, you replace it with another one. And then you give yourself one of the initial tiles. It's the fountain. It's gonna start out your city here. And then nine of the residential buildings. And you can just place them down here out of the way. And then last thing you might need is the reference card. You can just stick this off to the side. This reference card is for buying assistance. And I'll explain that as we go. All right, and so that's it for setup. Now let's talk about how you score points in the game. You're gonna score points based off of the glory tiles you achieved during the game, based off of these culture tiles here that you gain, and then off of these temples here. These temples all provide end game scoring goals, and so you'll score points off of those, and then you'll get a few points maybe out of leftover resources. And it's every three coins or resources will get you one point. So it's not very much. So the game is played in six rounds. And during the six rounds, you're going to conduct a series of turns. And then you're going to gain assistance, gain glory, and prepare for the next round. And you keep doing that cycle until the rounds are done. Now, on your turn, what you're going to do is you're going to draft from here. You're going to take one of these pairs 
and then choose to build one of those two tiles. And so let's look at some of the information on the tiles here. And so on the left here is the cost to build it. So you need these resources in order to place it in your city. On the bottom here, if it's just showing tokens, those are tokens that you'll receive when you activate these buildings. You don't get those when you build the buildings. Some of these other ones here are the culture icons. And so when you activate the building, you'll gain that culture. And after you're done activating all buildings in that area, you'll count up all your culture and you'll use it to buy these culture tokens here. Then we have the markets. The markets will give you coins based off of how many of those tokens that you might have. Now note that you don't actually pay the resource, you just get coins for having those resources in your supply. And there's a variety of other tiles that you can build, and I'll show them as we go, but some of them give you bonuses when you build them. Some of them also have you pay resources to do something or gain other resources. Now also on your turn, you're able to build a temple. Now the temples require stone and gems. So when you build a temple, you'll want to place it somewhere in your grid where it's adjacent to whatever it wants to be adjacent to. So in this case here, it wants to be adjacent to this type of facility that shows the same icon. So it wants to be next to those, but this one actually scores in the line and column for each one of those symbols in those lines or columns. This one here, likes to be around different kinds of uh, buildings. And so you get two points for each unique type of building in this little eight square area around the temple. And there's some others here that give you points for resources, this one here and this one here. And then this one also gives you points for that type of building, but in an eight square area. Now, when you build a building, you're just gonna place it in your grid here. And all it has to do is be adjacent on one side to another building that you've placed. And so let's talk about activations. Now we have residential buildings here and assistance that will help activate your buildings. So when you place a residential building, you can place it anywhere. It doesn't cost anything to place it. And when you place it, you're gonna choose one direction from that building to activate. So in this case here, I would choose up and I would activate every building along that line until I hit another residential building or until there's nothing left. And so in this case here, I'd activate the fountain and the fountain gives me one resource of my choice. And so you might activate a bunch of buildings, maybe the building ahead of this one will require a resource to spend to gain something else. So you might gain that resource, then spend it on something else to gain something else and do other things. Now you only have nine residential buildings in the game, so you have to time your activations correctly. And then on top of that, you're able to buy assistance throughout the game. I'll talk about how you buy them in a little bit here. but. When you use an assistant, you'll place it on a residential building, then choose a direction from that building to activate, and once again, activate those buildings in a line, going all the way up to the next residential building. And again, you can only gain five assistants, so keep that in mind. So at the most, you can have 14 activations during the game, and at the least, nine activations. All right, so after you've done all your turns, you're gonna pass and then move on to the gain assistance phase. Now the gain assistance phase is where you spend money or glory tokens to gain an assistant. And so this chart here shows you if you have zero assistance on the board or in your supply, then the assistant will cost five coins or one glory token. And you just spend those back to the supply. Now, if you already have one assistant, it'll still only cost five coins or one glory token. But as you have more assistance, so two will cost 10 coins or two glory tokens, three will cost 10 or two, and then four will cost 15 or three. So that's quite a bit. Now at any point, you can also sell resources for coins, just one each. You can spend three coins for a specific resource to pay a building cost. So you keep this aside to, to remind you of those things. And after you bought an assistant or decided to not buy an assistant, we go on to the gain glory. And so when you gain glory, you check the current stack. Now in the solo mode, in order to gain the topmost tile, which the, the top one is worth more than the ones beneath it for that round. So the top one here is worth two, whereas the second one is worth one. And so when you gain a tile, you have to have as much glory as the current round number. So in this case here for the first round, I only need one glory to gain that top tile. Now to gain second place, let's say we were in the second round and I only had one glory, then I would gain the second tile. I only need one glory to gain the second tile. Having one glory often is quite useful. And so there's a lot of points to be had that way. But if you spend glory points on assistance, you're not gonna have those necessarily to gain those glory points. And then after you've gained glory, we move on to the end of round, preparing for the next round. Any glory chips you have left over, go back to the supply. 
Then we draw new tiles here just like before, making pairs until we hit a round tile, and then we go on to the next round. And so now we are ready to begin the game. And so I definitely want some resources. I also want to be able to buy this fortress. Having these extra glory tokens on activations will be very useful. So I definitely want to get this. It's going to take one of each resource. That's going to be difficult. Now I can get one of each from these pairings here. So we'll start off with the wheat field and the rocky hill. And so I'll just choose, I guess I'll choose the wheat field. We'll place it right here. It doesn't cost anything because there's no resource cost on the starting cards. So we'll just discard this one. And then for my next one, I will gain the stone. We'll add the stone here in a line and we'll discard this one. And this last one here, I will gain the woods. That way I can gain wood for that. And we'll discard this one. All right, so at this point, I wanna activate my building. So I'm gonna place a residential building right here. And then I'm gonna activate everything to the right of it. And so I'm gonna gain one of each resource. So one, two, three, and four. Again, this is a resource of your choice. So I got all four of these resources, but then I'm going to spend these right now. <laughs> and we're gonna buy this fortress, which means I discard the markets here. And so we'll add this fortress all the way at the end here. And then on top of that, I'm gonna activate it all with this residential building on the very end. And so it's gonna activate to the left this time. So I'm gonna gain two glory, and then I'm gonna gain a wood, stone, and a grain here. And I have to choose what I want for the last one. Now I am gonna probably spend the stone and the grain on this here because that's gonna be useful. It would have been nice to have it right away, but that's just how it goes. So I think for this wild resource, I might as well just get a gemstone. And so then we're gonna choose this tile here, spending the grain and the stone, and discarding this tile, or sorry, discarding this tile and the denarii on it. And then we'll add this one, and I guess I'll add it right here. All right, so I have no more actions I can do, so we're gonna go on to the next part of the round. And I get to gain assistance if I want. And so once again, since I have zero assistance, it only costs me one, glory token to gain an assistant, and I will. So we'll add assistant to my supply. Then we go on to the gain glory. Now I need to have as much glory as the current round. It's round one. I do, so that means I gain this top tile and we'll get rid of the other round one tile. And so I'll just add this over here. And then we discard all our glory tokens. And now we refill the supply here. So we're gonna start drawing. Again, you draw one at a time. So one and then two, it's not too bad. Although they need grain and I don't have grain. <laughs> That's not good. Looks like we got some good choices. Sometimes the, uh, the round tracker comes up quick and so you don't have a lot to choose from. And there it is. Since it was the first tile in this draw here, we just discard this and we don't add any more tokens at this point. All right, so I do need some grain to work with. And so I think what I will do is I will spend this assistant and I guess it doesn't matter which side, I will spend it on this side here. And then I will activate all the buildings this way. So I'm gonna gain two glory tokens again, and then I might as well gain one of each resource, I think, or should I use my wild resource as another grain? That is a good question, because there's a lot of grain out here. So maybe that's what I should do. Instead of the gemstone, I will gain another grain. Now I don't have any money generation, so I should consider this. I don't have any of the theater generation, so I should probably consider that too. Then again, I might wanna get the wheat field because yeah, there's a lot of, uh, I don't know, I don't know. I wouldn't mind getting one of the watchtowers too. So what if I gained the wheat field? I'm gonna pass up on that, oh, I don't know if I wanna pass up on that. I don't know. All right, so let's do this. I will gain the foundry. We'll add the foundry here. It's gonna cost me one grain. And then we discard this one here. And then I will gain the watchtower. Now that's gonna cost me a wood and a grain. And so we'll add this one. I guess right down here is fine. And we'll discard the Colosseum here. Now, if I wanna build one of these, I'm gonna need some money or a grain. So let's go with an activation here and we'll activate right here. And then I get to activate everything down. So I'm gonna gain three denarii and then I gain one culture. We'll deal with that in a minute, or that's one arts. And then I'm gonna gain one resource and one glory. So I add the glory here. Now, which resource do I want? Probably a grain because that's what I'm gonna need for the next build. Now, when you activate and you have culture icons in there, you wait until you're done activating everything, then you add all your culture together. So I only got one art. So I take whatever is the top token that I, I reached. So since I have one art and there's only one here, then I add this and we'll add it to my uh, scoring pile here. 
If you don't have enough of the symbols, because some of them require two and three is at the bottom, then you don't earn those tiles. All right, so which of these two do I want? I kind of want this one because I want to start scoring along the theater here. So we'll spend the grain and the wood and we'll add it here. And then this one gets discarded. And I don't think I want to activate my residential building yet. I can wait till the next round for that. All right, so now we go on to the assistants. And so if I want to gain an assistant, I already have one assistant. It's going to cost me five or one. And I'll spend the one glory because I only need two to gain this glory token. So this glory gets spent and then I gain an assistant to my supply. And now we go on to gain glory and I have two glory and that matches the round number, round number two. So I gain the top tile, which is a nice amount of points starting off here. So we'll spend these two and then we'll get rid of the other round two tile here. Now we're on to round three. It's gonna be harder and harder to get all that glory. Also, especially since I can only activate this one one more time. So I may wanna save this to activate it on a better round or something like that. And then we move on to the next round, starting to draw more tiles. Let's see what we get. Not too bad. Some easy things to build, so that's good. Oh, that's gonna end the round early. <laughs> wow. All right, so there's not a lot to choose from here. Now, one thing I wanna start thinking about is which of these tiles I wanna go for. And I kinda of wanna go for this one because I can place this temple down here and that'll count as six points for these two here. I also think I wanna go for this temple because this temple likes different kinds of tiles. And right here, there's one, two, three, four different kinds of tiles. So if I place it here, it's worth eight points. So with that in mind, I think I will buy this tile, but I'll have to spend three denarii for it because I don't have any wood right now. So we'll spend three denarii. Again, you can spend three denarii for one resource and that's all it costs. We'll discard this other one here and I'll add it right here. I think that's good placement because I'm gonna go ahead and activate all of this. And so I'm gonna activate it straight up. That's gonna gain me two wood. We'll get one to theater, one glory token. And then I think for here, I will take a gemstone because I'm gonna need a gemstone for the temple. We need two gemstones and two stones. And then we get one art, three denarii back, and yeah, that's it. And so I can spend the three denarii, two gemstones, and one stone to gain the temple. We'll gain this temple here, and then we'll add it right here. And so now I have, and so now I have eight points for this one. So that'll be good. We'll replace the temples here. Let's see if I get anything good. Uh, that one likes to be next to residential buildings. I, I don't think I'm gonna pull that off. And then I gain one art in one theater. That means I get both of these top tiles here. So that is really nice. It's gonna add up some nice points for the end of the game. Now, if I wanna gain this one here later, I'm gonna have to activate two art. And I only have one, so that's not gonna be helpful. So I may wanna wait on those activations, but I can still activate this one down here for one theater and get that one. We'll see. All right, and so I think I'm gonna wait on doing anything else this turn. I could use my assistant or use a residential building, but I'm gonna wait till the next round. And so now we check for glory. And since I only have one glory, I don't match the three glory required for this round, but I do get uh, the level two one, the second place. So that's nice. That's an extra couple points there, and that'll cost my glory token. And then we draw new tiles here. We should see a decent amount of tiles since last round was so short. So let's see what we can get. Ooh, I like the statue. The statue's cool, especially since it has some more of the art. Wow, lots of tiles. Here we go. All right, there's the round token. Okay, and so the first thing I wanna do is use my assistant. I'm gonna activate this building here and all these things along this way. We get resources and some glory tokens. So that's really nice. I have to choose which of the resources I want for this one here. And I think I'm gonna go with a gem. I think that's the right call because I don't have any gems right now. So let's do that. And so I wanna show you this tile here just to show you this is the win built symbol. So when you build this, you get this bonus. In this particular case here, uh, wherever you place it, you choose a residential building in that area and remove it from the game. Not one that has an assistant on it though. All right, so I'm gonna spend one stone on the Rocky Mountain here. We'll discard the circus. And I'm thinking I should put it near this Rocky Hill because I need uh, some more stone here. I just don't have enough. And then I'm gonna spend one wood to build the charcoal burner. And we'll add the charcoal burner here, getting rid of the bathhouse. 
And then I'm going to spend one grain to gain the foundry. And we'll add the foundry up here. And then let's see, I think it's time to activate one of these buildings. So we're going to activate from up here all the way down. So we gain a coin or three denarii that is. And then we gain a denarii per wood that I have. So I have two wood here. So that's going to give me two more coins. So not too bad. And then we gain three stone total. And that's going to be useful for what I'm going to do next. I did forget to discard this tile, but we're going to buy this one here. It's going to take two wood, one stone, and one gemstone. And then we'll add this one in. And maybe I should add it here. Maybe that's the right call. All right. So I'll add it there. And then I, I'm really tempted to activate it right now. So if I activate it, I'll place the residential building here and activate to the right. That's going to give me one more glory token. Then two for Academia, which gives me this top tile here, and two more stone. So I got a lot of stone to work with next round. Yeah, I think that was the right call. And so now we go on to gaining an assistance, and it's going to cost me two glory tokens to gain an assistant. Well, that's okay. I, I don't have enough glory tokens to get the top glory marker, so that's fine. We'll spend those two. We'll gain an assistant for the next round. And then we go on to gain glory. Well, I'll get second place for having one token, so that's nice. And then we're ready to draw. All right, let's see what happens. I, did, I think it's going to be a shorter round because uh, we had a long round last time. Uh, not too bad. <laughs> really not too bad at all. I mean, there's a lot to choose from. There we go. All right. And so just as a reminder, I have three residential buildings. This is round five. So we're almost done with the game. So I have three more activations here plus one from my assistant. So we got some stuff to work with. I definitely want to look into getting another temple here because I want to score more points at the end of the game. And it's probably going to be this one. I think this one might be a good one. I'm just not sure which buildings I want though, or even if I want any of them. I guess I should probably get the theater one at some point. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to activate this row here, this entire column. And so we'll gain a couple wood and then I'll have one on theater and one in art. We'll deal with that in a minute. Gain one glory token. Uh, we'll gain one gemstone and then three denarii. I just realized I put my coin there, not my uh, assistant. Whoops. And so I have one in the theater. Now I have one in arts, but I, it's not enough. It needs two. So we got that one, though. That, that's nice. And so let's see. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to try and buy this one. So this one takes one stone, one wood, and two gemstones, so I'll have to spend three denarii for that second gemstone. We'll add this one right here. I think that's a good call. And then we'll use a residential building to activate that entire column. So I'll gain two to the theater, and then two stone, as well as, well, I'll make that three stone. And then I'll gain one coin for every wood I have. I only have one, but I'll also gain a three coin denarii. So we have some coins in here. And then I have the two theater, which is going to give me this top tile here. So that's nice. And now I want to buy one of the temples. Now I have the stone for it, but not the diamonds, the gemstones. So I'm going to have to spend six denarii to cover those gemstones. And so we'll gain this one and place it right here. That makes it worth nine points at the end of the game because it wants to be surrounded by these blue facilities. And then we'll replace the tile here. And then I'm not sure what else I want to do. I could activate these three here with the residential building if I wanted to. But you know what I see? I see this here. Now this will gain me a lot of glory if I want it. Ooh, this is really tempting. So if I pay one stone and three denarii for the gemstone, and then I can buy this one, and then let's see, we'll place it right here. Yeah, I'll place it right there. And then I'm going to use my residential building to activate it. I did forget to discard this tile here. And so we're going to activate along this way. And so I can pay stone for glory. And so the question is, how many do I want? If I pay three, that'll give me three more glory. That makes four. And then I'll gain one here. That makes five, which will gain me this tile. So that's eight points. Or I could settle for four points and have uh, two glory to pay for my third assistant. Or fourth assistant, sorry. Ooh. That is a tough choice. You know, I think I'm going to do that. So I'm just going to pay one stone for one glory. Then I'll gain two stone from here. 
And then I'll gain two of the Academia, so that's another three points there. And then one more Glory. I hope that was the right call. All right, so now we go on to gain assistance. I will spend the two glory to gain an assistant for this round. And then we go on to gain glory. I have one, so I get second place for that. So that's four points, that's not too bad. And then we're gonna draw tiles until we see that last round token. Let's see what happens here. All right, oh man, not much to choose from. Check out that dining hall. The dining hall, when you build it, it gives you two resources and it doesn't cost anything. Ooh, I'm tempted on that one. Because I could just place it right here next to this temple, which is going to help score another two points for this temple. And then, yeah, I will gain two resources. So which resources do I want? I might as well gain the resources for one of these here. So I guess a grain and a, a gemstone. I don't think it really matters because I'm not going to actually use the building. And we'll discard these two here. And so I'll just add this building right here next to this temple. Once again, it's going to count towards that because it's another type. So that's worth another two points. It'll cost these two resources. And then I want to use my assistant to activate this one here going to the right. So we start off with this one, gaining one glory. We'll have two to academia, which we'll deal with in a moment. And then we can gain two stone. And then we're going to spend stone on glory. And so I can spend... Let's see, I'll just spend four stone because that's all I need to gain four glory. And now I have enough glory for this token here for 10 points, so that's really good. And then we have the two academia, which will gain me this token here. And then yeah, there's nothing else to buy, so I have one activation to do, and we'll place it right here, and we're gonna activate straight down. And so I will gain one grain, and I'll gain two more academia, which gives me this tile here. Wow, I've got a lot of tiles here. And so I have no more actions I can do, so we're going to move on to the glory step, because there's no assistant step in the sixth round. And do I have six glory? I sure do. We're going to spend all six glory and gain this one. Yeah, this is great. So a lot of points here, and we're going to go straight on to final scoring. All right, so first thing we do is we're going to score these here. And I, I like to group these in piles of uh, 10 points each. Just makes it easier for adding everything up. Unfortunately, there's no score pad to this game. So, so far I've got 30 points. Let's see what else I can get. 40 points. Wow. 52 points just off of all that. That is crazy. And so now we have our scoring conditions for our temples. Again, this temple wants to be surrounded by different kinds of buildings. And you look at the icons, it'll show you the different kind of icons. So I have six different buildings around this temple that's worth 12 points. So that puts me at 64. And then I only have one other temple here. And this one wants to be next to the scroll type buildings. And I have three here, so that's nine points. So that puts me at 72, I think is right. And then we discard three resources for one more point, And that puts me at 73. And so we'll check the back of the manual here and check it out. I made it to console, never been this high before, almost to Emperor Augustus. I was so close, so close. But there we go, I get the title of console. And so there you have it, that was the tutorial and solo playthrough of Minerva by Hisashi Hayashi and published by Pandasaurus Games. This is one of those games where I'm just like, why didn't people talk about this when this came out? I mean, this is like from 2017 and I'm surprised it didn't get more love. It, it's a fun game. It's a great tile drafting game. I love how you activate the buildings and try and puzzle out when you're going to do your activations for the best bonuses. Yeah, it's really great. I, I bet you, I bet you if they had put like a nature animal theme on this, this would have sold like billions. But uh, anyways, let me know in the comments below what you thought of this game. Please also like and subscribe to this channel if you like the content you see here. And I thank you very much for joining me on Tabletop for One. Have a great night.